the magic about? Here in your time of need. Hi, I'm Andrew Yip, Design Director for Legends of Runeterra. I want to introduce you all to Brett Freeman, Director of Strategy, and Dave Guskin, Game Director. Today, we're going to chat about our approach to PvE moving into 2022. We'll also share some details about competitive and updates to our release and balance cadence throughout the new year. 2022 will be a transformative year for lore. We spent 2020 focused on launch, and 2021 was all about exploration, discovering what was possible with new game modes like the Path of Champions. But now that we've laid the groundwork, we want to build on everything we've learned. And from what we've seen, you're ready for that too. In fact, more of you are playing the Path of Champions than all other game modes combined. And we've also seen nearly double the amount of players since the mode launched. We hear you loud and clear, and we're already exploring ways to improve the features you're enjoying most. Before Dave walks you through how we'll do that, let's take a look at some highlights since launch. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. What would you ask of a man with nothing? To die with honor. We're getting hot, hot, hot! Sentinels, carry the darkness! Fight for the light! Oh my, what's the correct protocol here? Tomorrow has never looked so good! Alan is your new, your first ever Legends of Runeterra World Champion! It's awesome to see all the enthusiasm, and there's so much more to look forward to. Heading into 2022, the team is focused on bringing you even more storyful adventures and refining the single-player narrative experience with new champions. Then, later this year, we're going to shift our attention to new PvE features, so there are always exciting challenges waiting for you. The Path of Champions was our first attempt in introducing this type of progression system, and since launch, we've learned a lot from your feedback. With that in mind, we're planning to remake the game mode to be even more immersive and rewarding in the next release. Instead of playing through the same campaign for all champions, we want to give each champion an experience unique to their story. And progression will mean more than just leveling up or getting new relics. You'll be able to chase specific items for new builds and customize how your champion legend plays through upgrades that are more intentional. For example, maybe you want to swap cards in your starter deck or change to improve your passive powers. We're working on ways to give you more ownership over how your champion's story plays out. Now, an overhaul like this is going to require a progression reset, but that won't happen until the spring, so keep the feedback coming in the meantime. The team wants to hear from you so we can make the Path of Champions the best it can be. As our priorities shift for all this new content, some features like Expeditions will churn out until we have a chance to reimagine a draft-like PvP experience. But as of February 15th, we've uncapped the number of times we can get weekly rewards, so if you've got tokens left, Make sure you get your last runs in before the spring update. Thanks again, and stay tuned for more PvE news in the coming months. Now Andrew will take you through the rest of the roadmap for 2022. Thanks, Dave. First, let's talk content cadence. Bandle City marked our final region, so we won't have the same update schedule as we've had in the past. After a curious journey, we want to focus on standalone expansions that each explore something new. These won't always be the same size or even shape, and they'll add champions to both PvP and PvE. It's important to highlight that Runeterra is so much more than just a collection of regions. There are many champions who wander from place to place or have conflicting loyalties. Champions that could also bring unique mechanics and depth to gameplay. We're calling these Runeterra champions, and they'll break out of traditional region rules. So how do these Runeterra champions work? Well, luckily, one of them has kindly offered to give you a peek behind the curtain. You've probably heard of him. Jin the Virtuoso. Art requires a certain cruelty. Each Runeterra champion has specific deck building rules that are unique to them. As an example, putting Jin in a deck allows you to include cards with skills from all other regions. This opens up a ton of new ways to strategize, and we can't wait for you to see how other Runeterra champs will shake up deck building in expansions to come. Next, a quick update on competitive in 2022. Seasonal tournaments are here to stay, and the best players on each shard will be able to compete for prizes, glory, and a chance to enter into our 2022 World Championship. However, this year, we're no longer holding official broadcasts for each seasonal tournament. 
Instead, we're going to double down and devote all of our efforts to Worlds this year to make sure it's the best experience possible. Lastly, I want to talk about our balance cadence. We just saw a massive balance patch drop with over 30 new changes, and you can expect more patches like this every other month. Thanks to your input, we've brought some familiar faces and strategies like control back into the limelight, and also adjusted some archetypes to more reasonable power levels, like Azurelia, Yordles, and Kinku Wayfinder, who as it turns out was really just three Teemos in a trench coat. <laughs> Team green like the great outdoors. Beyond our updated cadence, we're always keeping an ear to the ground to solve emergent issues, even if they fall outside of a scheduled patch window. So keep that feedback coming, and the team will keep making adjustments so the game stays fresh and fun to play. Now here's Brett to wrap things up. With all the new content Andrew just talked about, we know you're wondering about rotation. So here's the official stance. It's complicated, especially for a game like ours, which relies on champions and their supporting cards. We understand the problems that rotation can solve and are keeping a close eye on them. By the way, you might have noticed a different loading screen last time you logged in. Or maybe you used the colorblind mode released last year. Or seen how ClickUI has expanded beyond labs for better accessibility. We definitely want to keep releasing these kinds of quality of life updates where we can in 2022. Finally, let's take a look at where personalization is headed this year. We want to continue making richer, more dynamic skins that have custom animations. Onward, everybody! The horizon calls! Is it the mustache? Who knows? Better, brighter than before! We're also planning to add themed champion spells to all of the existing epic skins in April. Additionally, we'll release free Arcane Jinx and Vi skins to celebrate Lore's second anniversary in that same patch. Lastly, if you're enjoying the arcade battle event, keep an eye out for more events later this year, including Pulse Fire in the spring. That's all we can tell you for now. There's so much to be excited about this year and the team can't wait to share more with you in the coming weeks and months. With your feedback and support, Legends of Runeterra has grown into something that we never could have imagined two short years ago. It's been a journey, but the real adventure was the Lux emotes that we endured along the way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.